And here we have the vaquita, another of the world's rarest mammals. And in this picture, I would like to point out the size comparison to the gull, <laughs> an animal for which we are all very, very familiar. So I, I know I'm reiterating this, but the difficulties associated with studying these animals and working to protect them when they are so very small. The vaquita is the porpoise species that exists only in the Sea of Cortez in Mexico. <clears throat> this is a photograph taken of some living porpoise, porpoise in the Sea of Cortez, uh, taken in around uh, 2008, during, I think it was 2008, during a vaquita cruise, a research expedition. So this is the point of the talk where I say, and then there were six, and this is where it really, really counts. Do we want that number? for the number of species of porpoise to go back down to six because it is totally and utterly preventable. The vaquita is, is the most endangered small cetacean on the planet. This species was discovered in 1958, and by 1996, they were declared critically endangered. There was a recent, recent expedition just a few months ago to the Sea of Cortez to go and do a follow-up assessment from the previous survey to find out how many vaquita there are. Approximately 73. I cannot emphasize enough that time is running out for this species. Two years ago, I gave a similar talk. We talked about vaquita, and the population estimate was 200. So time is running out for this species. However, it is not lost yet. So as I mentioned, the Sea of Cortez, <clears throat> excuse me, is the only place on the planet where the vaquita exists. And the red area that you can see there is a reserve. The Mexican government set up a reserve to protect these animals. And last year, they implemented a full ban on gillnets. Because why is the vaquita in decline? entanglement in fishing gear. And in some cases, the animals are not reported if they're caught because of fear of getting into trouble or perhaps thinking in some cases it's bad luck. But at the end of the day, the number of living porpoises are out, that are out there are declining. Now, the good news is on the recent expedition, calves were sighted. So they're still reproducing, which is why not all is lost. There are some tremendous efforts underway in Mexico in areas where a lot of the fishing is fundamentally for the survival of, of the people living there. However, there is also an issue with illegal fisheries. And it is the illegal fisheries sorry, that are for a large fish called the totuaba, which you will see a picture of in the video. And it is for their swim bladder. And it is considered a luxury and a delicacy for potentially medicinal properties, which we won't go into here, for China. And there was a smuggler caught not too long ago with 87 swim bladders from the Tatuaba. What we don't know is how many vaquita were entangled in that process. And that was just one person. So, Mexico has taken tremendous efforts to protect this species and to do everything that's possible, really, to ensure their survival. Unfortunately, there is the black market trade, and that is highly lucrative, and that is a major contributor to the decline of this species. There are many things we can do. We must support Mexico in all of their efforts so far to ban the gill nets in the Vaquita Reserve. We must use our dollars wisely and shop and purchase sustainable seafood if we're buying sustainable seafood. Go to the Monterey Bay Aquarium Seafood Watch to find region-specific information and raise awareness. Tell your friends, tell your family, tell everyone who will listen that Vaquita are important. They may be small, they may be difficult to find and found only in the Sea of Cortez, but they play an important role in our world oceans and deserve our respect and protection. If you would like to learn more about porpoises, visit porpoise.org.